Hey guys, hope everybody's doing great tonight. I've decided since I've been cleaning some eights lately and I found one that was really, really light that I'm going to take and do a little comparison between the eights that I have. I have a few more, but these are the majority. Um, there is a few Canadian pieces in there and there's a couple of modern pieces. Three, in fact. Um, so we will take and check these out and see how they compare weight-wise. We're going to start with the lightest going to the heaviest. Um, I think I've got them pretty much in order, but there might be one or two that's out of order. First one we're going to start out with is this very old Sydney with the cursive uh, logo. I'm going to put it on there, and if you look at that, this thing weighs exactly three pounds. And then we go to the Sydney block logo number eight and it's got the little mo uh, maker's mark on it um i think they call that one the moon if we look at that it's 3.12 pounds so just a little heavier not much and then we're going to go to an eerie this is a second series and we'll put that on there 3.52 pounds and Next up is a favorite PicoWare, and what's cool about this one is you can see the ghost mark from the old logo, the best to cook in. Number eight, we'll put that on there, 3.77. So we're getting a little heavier. All right, next one up, Lancaster. This is modern. This really, really resembles the Wagner. We'll put this down. And that's 3.99. All right, next one up is the Wagner that they actually designed it after. This is a 1922 to 24 and 4.03. All right, next one up is the Wapak with the Aneta version of it. This is a number eight. For some reason, this skillet is about the size of a seven, but it is heavier than a lot of the eights. This one comes in at 4.04. .04. I've got a uh, regular Wapak seven that's nearly identical to this one in size. And then the next one up is our Martin, number eight. We'll put that on there. We are pushed over, we're 4.09 pounds on this one. And the next one up is a marked lodge, no notch, and we'll throw him on there, 4.28. And the next one up is a Smarts Brockville, number 8, from Canada, and this one is 4.32. And here's another old lodge, this is a single notch eight with the raised mold mark we'll put that on there we're nearly to four and a half that's well 4.5 right even and next is another lodge except this is a single notch with no marking on it other than the raised eight and this one's three or four point six all right next up is a good old bsr red mountain it's what they call the 8 o'clock because the 8 is so far over. We'll put that on there. And we are pushing 4.63. So just a little bit bigger than that. But a bit heavier than that uh, lodge. Next one up is the BSR Stove Spider. This is one that they made at the very first days of the foundry. This one matches exactly um, size, shape, everything. And they did have a number etched on there and this one comes in at just over five pounds all right next up we got another modern this is our stargazer with that big handle and the big helper handle comes out just a little bit over five pounds not too bad considering you know all the extra metal in here and there all right next up is your, just your regular old modern 8sk put it on there 
and most people would think that the the lodge was going to beat out a lot of them on size wise i don't have any of the super heavyweights like the smithy 8 or the fine x8 but i thought this one would be the heaviest but nope it was beat out by a chunky little guy from canada the javelin size 8 this thing is stout and it comes in at four point or five point four one pounds well guys that's the eights i have for this video hope you enjoyed it and uh maybe i'll do the nines next i'm not sure but we'll see y'all have a great one